Miss Katie and welcome to class 119 here at Virtual UPK. I'm so excited to see you today. Alright, you know how we like to start our day. That's right, fresh and clean hands. So, you need to pause the video now and wash your hands. You may do so. All clean? Perfect. All right, friends, we are working on our first and last names. So, if you want to grab some paper, some crayons, and your grown up, work on both your first and last name. Wonderful work, friends. All right. Let's head on over to the calendar and find out what today is. We are still in the month of, mm, makes that M sound at the beginning, March. Great job. Let's say March nice and loud together. Ready? March. Wonderful work. All right, friends. Let's sing our Days of the Week song and find out what today is. Ready? Days of the week. 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 Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, friends, if yesterday was Monday, what does that make today? Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday. Well done, friends. Let's start with 21 and count to find out what today is. Ready? 21, 22, 23. Today is the 23rd of 2 and the 3. Let's put that right up here. We'll say our date together. And today is Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. Nice and loud. Ready? 2021. Well done, friends. If you need to pause the video now and finish the calendar with your grown-up, you may do so. If you're ready to go on, we'll look outside. And I do see a few fluffy white clouds in the sky. It is a little cloudy here at UPK. I do see some sun peeking behind those clouds, but I also see some clouds. Do you remember what that kind of weather was called, friends? It was partly cloudy, right? There's a little bit of sun and a little bit of clouds. All right, friends, if you need to finish the weather with your grown-up, you may pause the video now. If you're ready to go on, we will go to the question of the day. And friends, some of you come to school on a bus. <laughs> and what is so special about a bus? Hmm, let's think. Well, we could definitely have more than just a family on a bus, right? We can have several people ride together on a bus because they're usually very big. And what is so special about traveling on an airplane? Hmm. That's right. An airplane flies in the sky. A car can't do that. And a bus can't do that. And friends, what's so cool about a boat? How is that a very cool way to travel? Hmm. That's right. It goes in the water. <laughs> a train can't go in the water. No. 
No. And an airplane definitely can't go in the water. No. So each mode of transportation, that's what they call it. That's a really big couple of words, but they are special because they are different ways to get where we need to go. And there is something special about each one of them. Like a car, well, most people have at least one car at home. And so sometimes it's just your family that can go in that car, and that's pretty special. And some friends don't have cars at home, and that's okay, and we use the bus, and then you get to ride with a whole group of people. And that's very special. So that is something that we're going to start to talk about are also modes of transportation. And you're going to see why in a little bit when we have our story. But first, let's practice a song that I think you all probably know. Yeah, it's about a bus. Can you guess? We're going to sing the wheels on the bus today. All right? You ready? Here we go. The wheels on the bus go. What do they do? Oh, that's right. Round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. How about the wipers? What do they do? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. And sometimes you have to pay to ride on the bus. So what were the coins? What sound would the coins make, friends? You got it. Clink, clink, clink. Ready? The coins on the bus go clink, 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 clink. Clink, 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 the coins on the bus go clink, 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 all through the town. That's a little different now because sometimes we have what's called a bus pass, right? Or we use our dollar bills. So it's just something different. All right, friends, let's sing one more. How about the people on the bus? Ready? The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The on the bus go up and down all through the town. Wonderful work, friends. All right, we did get our bodies a little bit warmed up, but let's get the rest of those wiggles out. Stand up. Take one step away from your computer, and here we go. I can stretch. I can bend. I can wave to a friend. Hi, friends. I can jump so high. I can crouch so low. I can tap the floor with my toe. I cross my arms and breathe in deep. I calm my body. Wonderful work, friends. All right, if you're ready to head on over to the story, today is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. A pigeon drive a bus? Well, that is a silly story, friends. I'll see you there. All right, friends. How was it? I know, that's a super silly story. And I don't think pigeons actually drive a bus, but there are many animals that move in different ways. So if you want to grab the paper that looks like this, you'll need your scissors and crayons and some glue. And we're going to talk about how these animals so, if you want to grab your materials, you can pause the video now and come right on back. All right, friends. Some of these animals run, some crawl, some swim, and some fly. So, if you're a pigeon, you're not going to drive the bus. 
you're going to fly. Right. So we have all of these animals you can choose from. All right. And if I'm a little spider, what do I do? That's right. I crawl around on the ground or I crawl up the wall. So you can cut that little spider out and put it right under crawl. You can also draw other pictures of other animals that might fit in these categories if you'd like. So if you want to pause the video now and work on that with your grown up, you may do so. Wonderful job. All right, friends. Our next activity today is another cut act, cutting activity. Um, I mean, you don't have to paste them together, but you cut your book pages apart. And I usually just put a little bit of tape when I fold them together. So if you want to pause the video now and make your little book, then you can come on back and we'll read it together. All right, all set? If you didn't write your name in yet, that's okay. We can go back after we read the book together and write our name in. So this week is called Patterns. We've practiced this a little bit before, but we will practice it again. This is a pattern. So it has triangle, 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 square, square, square. Triangle, triangle, triangle. All right. So, what comes next? It would be three squares, right? Triangle, squares, triangle, squares. Great job, friends. On page number four, it says, here is another pattern. Circle, circle, square, square, heart, heart. Circle, circle. So what would come next? I see two circles, two squares, two hearts. Two circles. Do you know? It's two squares. Great job. And then two hearts. All right. This is another pattern. It says, what is the pattern? Circle, circle, line. Rectangle, circle, circle, line. 